I'm here today to speak a little bit about a document called Principles of Solidarity. Yay! Now, uh, so this thing, this particular document here was drafted in New York City and uh, occupation in Wall Street. Uh, it was all consensed on by the large uh, movement, occupation movement. And like all documents that come out of these movements, they are living documents. They can be amended, they can change with time. So this is what has been agreed upon as something that binds the whole group together up in New York, something we can think about, but it does not mean, it's not static, it's dynamic, it's always changing. So let's keep that in mind. We can always amend it in the future if we want to take it on. We can always add on to it, subtract, whatever. It's representative of, a, of the movement as a whole. Um, so I want to read it out loud. It'll only take about a minute. Uh, on September 17, 2011, people from all across the United States of America and the world came to protest the blatant injustices of our times, perpetuated by the economic and political elites. On the 17th, we as individuals rose up against political disenfranchisement, disenfranchisement and social and economic injustice. We spoke out resisted and successfully occupied Wall Street. Yeah. Today, we proudly remain in Liberty Square, constituting ourselves as autonomous political beings engaged in non-violent civil disobedience and building solidarity based on mutual respect, acceptance, and love. <laughs> it is from this reclaimed grounds that we say to all Americans and the world, enough. How many crises does it take? We are the 99% and we have moved to reclaim our mortgage future. Through a direct democratic process, we have come together as individuals and crafted these principles of solidarity, which are points of unity that include but are not limited to engaging in direct and transparent participatory democracy, exercising personal and collective responsibility, Recognizing individuals' inherent privilege and influence it has on all interactions. Empowering one another against all forms of oppression. Redefining how labor is valued. The sanctity of individual privacy. The belief that education is a human right. And endeavoring to practice and support wide applications of open source. Nice. We are daring to imagine a new social, political, and economical, economic alternative that offers greater possibility and equality. We are consolidating the other proposed principle of solidarity, which, after which demands will follow. Woo! So yeah, that came out of New York. Uh, that's really, it's a really important document. It's sort of, again, it's a way that um, we recognize how, what binds us together or some of the things that we feel binds us together as a movement. And I think that uh, in the future, this particular Palm Beach County occupation movement should think about drafting similar solidarity statements that bind this group together and to a larger, um, the larger movement the world over. Thanks. Make, make, make.